Oh man, that's awesome. I'll come down with a handsaw and cut this off and I'll reshape this. Uh, this is probably beech wood. So, you know, yeah, I'm just gonna fix this. I hope. shape <clears throat> striking button time I made a striking button this is the original uh, striking button uh, for off an original plane and um, I made one out of crate myrtle because that's what I had and of course it's not glued in I can take it out if I need to I just drill in there and put a screw in there and pull it out um, I made it kind of small because it's already got cracks in here you can see a little space in there but it should be sufficient, so when, when you hit this with the hammer, it should, you know, uh, loosen the iron up. It should, the, the iron should be loosened up. That's what this is for. Um, so I put a striking button on there, and we'll see what happens once the thing is done and assembled, see if this works. I normally don't use the striking button. I normally tap it from the front or the rear to loosen or tighten the, the iron, or tap the iron and then put the wedge back in. But it does need a striking button on there. This one is... You know, this, like I said, this plane is almost brand new. So I got the striking button in there. Uh, it is uh, proud of the surface a little bit. So we'll see what happens with this. See if, if this uh, the crate metal actually will work. I've got to make a handle for this. And I'm thinking about making it out of this right here. I put it up here. And it looks like it's wide enough to cover the base. Looks like it's long enough. And of course it's deep enough to fit down into the slot. Uh, I'm kind of concerned about this a tiny bit. I'm going to have to trace this handle from this other plane onto this piece of wood. I'm not using this. I'm just using this part right here. So if I can make this and the lower section out of one piece, I should be okay. It's a little low. I may have to go with this one here. Let's see. I might be able to get away with making it out of this one here. But I want it one side piece. I don't want to uh, laminate my stuff together. So we're going to attempt to make one of these handles and fit in here. Trace it from here onto my stock, cut it, and slowly fit it into the uh, this other plane. Working on my um, my handle restoration, and I've got I make a little template and I cut it out, and I'm using my little spoke shave to. Um, to carve this thing down, round it off. It's getting close. Use a sander also, but you know, it's pretty, pretty close to the original here. On the, like I said, the smaller one didn't have this front thing on it, it just has this base. So I just used some of this, uh, this oak that I had sitting around and just slowly picking at it. And I've got to, you know, just keep shaping it until the handle's round and it feels good. And, Feels pretty good right now. Still a little, little sharp on the edges. I need to bring these corners all the way down until they meet. So I'll be here for a while doing that. I've got my handle uh, carved. Um, you can notice that the back is tapered and the front is tapered. That's the way this hole is. And you've got to put the back in first and then clip the front down into it uh, with glue. And that's the way these things are, are held in. I should have uh, put a lip over this thing, but I didn't. So it is what it is. And um, I'm just going to glue it up and see what happens. Nothing, nothing better to do but to put it in, you know. So we will see what happens. There we go. All right. The back end first. Front goes down. It's tapered. And let me get my mallet. Here we go. Excellent. 
So that's the insertion of the new handle. I did already check it so the iron, I can get the iron in and out if I need to, which I will because I will be using this plane. So the iron will go in without an issue. It looks like there's a little gap there, but I'll fix that in a second. Whew, man. All right. That was stressful. Got my little handle in. Let me clean this all this stuff up and, and um, show you the ending result. This is going to look really nice. It feels really good in the hand, too. Got the handle in. Uh, it almost looks exactly like the original, uh, which is good. Uh, it's almost perfect. So I've got this installed. And now I'm going to put shellac on this thing. Uh, this is real shellac that I've got. Uh, I'm, I'm learning French polishing, so in order to do French polishing properly, you have to have real shellac. This stuff has already been mixed up for a while, so it's good to go. And we'll see if it comes out of... Well, let's see. We'll do it this way. It's probably easier. Let's see what happens. we got to cover it and got to protect it. And it's the same material that was protected with original, originally. So we're going to go with shellac. I'm not French polishing this. <laughs> this plane, that would be completely ridiculous. So anyway, you can already see the way that it's coming out. I mean, that's really pretty. It's really gonna be nice with real shellac, you know, fake old stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and coat this and then um, let you guys see what it's gonna look like after it's done. It's gonna be really nice. It's already turning colors, look at this. It's already almost getting the same color as the original. That's pretty awesome. It's gonna look good. And I believe I am finished with the, uh, the plane as far as I think that I can get it done. I just put some, uh, some of this finishing wax, this paste wax on the bottom of it. It makes, it makes the, uh, it makes the, your plane slide really good. I also put it on my, I put it on everything that I need to slide against each other. Works really good. Got this, uh, this iron was really messed up. I also, um, how to fix the cap iron. Everything is straight and square now. It is super sharp. Um, it, it is really, really, really sharp. It took a while because the, it was pitted so bad that I had to bring that blade back. I also put a secondary bevel on it on the corners. You can see here, so when you're planing, these, those don't dig into the surface you're planing. Um, so how to do that. This is ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and assemble this and set it up and uh, we'll do a test a first uh a test run on this thing it's gonna be really cool